The end of summer is upon us, and you know what that means for many of us. It is back to school season. Whether you've been away from Google Classroom for a little bit or you have never used it before, this next series is going to be an important one. Follow along for my back to school Google Classroom guide for students and parents. Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new here, I'm really happy that you've been able to join us. My name is Danielle Rochford, and I am a grade seven and eight online teacher. And here on this channel, I upload videos that help students, parents, and teachers in their online learning journey. Today's video is the first in a series where I am taking you through from beginning to the very end all of the details that you need to know as a student or a parent of a student using Google Classroom. So why don't we dive right into the computer? Before anything happens, we need to get our initial setup of Google Classroom going. So. In order to first access Google Classroom, there's actually a couple of ways that we can do that. Um, the first one, which is a very, very easy one, is we can go to the, um, the waffle icon here in the upper right-hand corner, and you'll notice that there's a whole bunch of options there for different Google tools. Um, you can choose the Google Classroom icon from that option there. The other thing that you can do is uh, you can, up in the, uh, the Omni box here, you can type in um, classroom.google.com and that will take you directly to Google Classroom. And if it's your first time, there's gonna be a few items that you're going to need to do in order to get everything set up. First, it's going to confirm that it is you. So you do want to make sure that you are logged in with your school email. Okay, and so here I see it, it's example student at rochfordondemand.com and that is the account that I want to use with this. So I'm going to click on continue. And then you're going to have to pick your role. And you are a student, so you're gonna to have to click on I'm a student. Once you've done that, you will get access to your Google Classroom dashboard. Now, if your teacher hasn't yet invited you to anything, it's going to be empty when you first access it. And that's okay um, because um, your teacher or teachers will give you access to uh, various classes and you'll be able to, uh, to join different classes uh, once the school year gets going. But we are going to tackle that in another video. So we've been able to get our initial access here. Stick around for the next video and we'll talk about how you can join different classes and the different ways that you can do that. We'll see you again in the next video.